I'm so excited. I finally made it out to the state of Washington and I get to visit my friend Joe Clark in Architectural Elements. Let's go see what Joe's up to. Hey, how's it going, man? Well, good. How are you? Yeah, it's good Joe. rainy here. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, I hear you're known for that. <laughs> yeah. I walk in, I'm greeted by this stairway sample. I know I'm at a cool place. Yeah, that one's a pretty fun one there. It was a black and stainless steel staircase that we did for a certain Seattle coffee mogul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we well, can interpret that. Thanks for welcoming me and uh, giving me the opportunity to see around. Let's, let's go see the shop. You're tackling the thing that I am the most scared of, a rolled tube stairway. I've, I've stayed away from them because I've been so afraid of the tolerance and getting a really expensive rolled piece of tube in and it being out by a half an inch. And like, not only did you take my nightmare, you doubled it because you have two rolled tubes here and then you weld them together. How do you solve this problem? Well, it starts with 3D modeling everything. And uh, as, as soon as you actually have a workable plan that's been proved out by field measurements and everything else, then you've got actually a good place to start. But also in terms of uh, you know having things rolled, you know we, we have some roll benders, but we're not rolling this, right? This is a uh, induction rolled by Albina and actually down in, the, in Oregon. So these are five eighths thickness and this is a, I it's a six by 10 square tube and they're laminated together here with uh, continuous welds and stitch welds in some places there. They actually have to use a heat induction process. You can see the, the actual uh, demarcations yeah, yeah. there from where they heated along the way and bend it. It's definitely a team approach, you know, being a small shop, we we only have a certain amount of equipment. So we, we definitely work with a lot of partners to, to pull off the things that we do. So when you set this up in your shop, am I right? You found the center point, you set a, a laser over there, and then we've got this bolted to the floor, and so everything is working off of this, so it really enables you to grab good measurements? We actually used our Leica uh, Disto here. We projected the points on here, so marked them out on the floor. That's how this base plate was located, then it was anchored to the floor. You can see all along here, these individual points were projected by the laser machine, and uh, we utilize those as essentially the face of each tread is plumbed up right there. And then it radiates off of the center point, which is over there. How do you make up for the slight imperfections in this induction bending process? Yeah, so they're basically trying to build a little bit of tolerance. You can't really see it a whole lot because it was a fairly tight tolerance. There's like a 16th gap here between the tread and the riser there. Got it. And uh, that was intentional. And uh, we also work in some gusseting inside here, but the, the weld specifications, et cetera, are sort of designed such that we can take up a little bit of mismatch in, in the, the fitment there, so. Though my right of understanding, you're gonna to do to all this beautiful work and then it's gonna get covered up? Yeah, unfortunately, the in this case here, all this beautiful metal is gonna be covered by precast treads and I believe this is gonna be built out with sheetrock. I know it's still gonna look awesome, but uh, just right here, this massive amount of steel. What do you speculate, what is this weigh? I believe this full assembly is around 14,000 pounds. So <laughs> it's a little bit over our, our lifting capacity here, but we, we rented a couple of forklifts to get it on the truck. You can see we weld in heavy duty pick points here. They're w way overrated for the yeah, uh, lifting that we're doing. These stairs look great, but can we give them a try? Sure, why not? Let's go. Joe, thanks so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. I learned a ton. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. I appreciate it.